Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. 2016. This question was asked in 2016. It is a 12.5 mark question. It is about a scheme. Pradhan Mandri Janta Niyojana is necessary for bringing the unbanked to the institutional finance fold. Do you agree with this for a financial inclusion of the poorer sections of the Indian society? You argument to justify your opinion. Okay, it's a 200 words question. So first is you have to know about what is this Pradhan Mantri Janta Niyojana. Next, it is to bring the unbanked things to the financial fold. Do you agree with the financial, financial inclusion of the poorer sections of the Indian society? This question is about do you agree which means it's an opinion type question. So the question is a opinion type first thing. Second, what is the intro that you can give? So it is about a scheme. So either you can say about what is Pradhan Mantri Jantan Yojana or else you can speak about the financial inclusion. So, there are two types of intro. Either you can speak about the scheme or is what is this financial inclusion. That is also you can say. So, first of all, the why this intro is the major role means the intro itself say that whether you understand this question or not. So, examiner will, examiner will get certain insight about your answer based on this introduction part. So, if you are going to give priority to the scheme or else you are going to give, give the priority about the financial inclusion means based on which itself you can, the exam will find that. So, your answer will be related to that. So, the introduction part is major thing. It is going to give the insights to your answer. So, the, your answer may be around 15 to 20 lines. But the introduction of 3 to 4 lines is the major role. It is giving the insight to your answer. So, please be more conscious about your introduction part. So, here you can say about either Pradhan Mantri Jantan Yojana or financial inclusion. When it comes to financial inclusion, means it is the free access and use appropriate financial services, which means ease uh, accessibility of the financial services, availability, and also about the affordability. So that is called as financial inclusion. So you have to increase the banking penetrations to the rural area. That will enhance the financial inclusion. People will tend to save money and also they will get credits easily and they will move away from the money lenders because money lenders will charge the hefty interest rate. They will charge higher interest rate that will lead to the people fall from the economic strata to the lower level. And say that the person is in the middle class means due to this hefty interest rate charged by the charged by the money lender that leads to the push the middle class person to the below part line people. So there is a major fall in their economic strata that will happen sir, due to this informal lending. To overcome this, we need a financial inclusion. So, which means you are creating an option for savings, you are creating for uh, creating an option for deposit their money, and also you are creating the option for getting easy loan with lower interest rate in a formal, formal manner. So, that is the importance of the financial inclusion. That thing was done by this. Pradhan Mantri Jantan Yojana. So, what is this Pradhan Mantri Jantan Yojana? It, first thing about this Pradhan Mantri Jantan Yojana, it is universal access. Wherever you are, you can open the bank account. That is the first thing. Next is zero balance account, which means you do not have to maintain any balance in your account. For the for certain banks accounts, they have to maintain amount of 200, sorry, 500 or 1000 or 3000. That is the minimum balance they have to maintain it. 
if it is not there means that they will find that account they will put certain fines on that account when it comes to pradhan mantri jantan yojana you can create a account with zero balance that is the major thing that pushed the people who are don't have any bank accounts into the banking sector that is the major thing done by this pradhan mantri jantan yojana first of all why they come with a new scheme called as pradhan mantri jantan yojana means in the population around 52 percentage of the people only having the bank accounts another 40 percentage of the people are don't have a bank accounts which means there is a, no savings activities happening there is no credit facilities available for them they are not depositing any money so they don't know how to save their money so they lack in the financial literacy so lack of financial literacy leads to the poverty so all these things will be related to happening to the 40 percentage of the people to overcome that thing they created this pradhan mantri jantan yojana okay it is actually this pradhan mantri jantan yojana is like a win win situation first win is for the people the another win is for this indian economy how this indian economy is going to benefit from it answer that more the people comes and save their money in the economy more people comes and save their money in their bank means that bank money is rooted as loans to the other people so that will increase as the employment that will increase as the tax revenue that will increase as the spending of the government to the people so that will increase as the money money that is with the people money that is going to the people is increasing so that is again getting into the bank so this is called as virtuous cycle so it is the win for the government and the win for the people or is win for the indian economy and the win for the people that is the thing that pradhan mantri jantan yojana did so he created the universal access zero balance account and also they gave the rupee credit card and also they gave the accidental insurance life insurance pension plans overdraft account overdraft account means if you don't have a balance consider that you have a zero balance but still you can withdraw certain money up to 5000 rupees so that is called as overdraft so consider that you are in a certain economically affected situation in that situation you need certain money so you have to either get the money from another person to overcome that thing they created a overdraft account which means even though you have a zero balance you can set withdraw certain amount from that from your bank account that facility also gave by this pradhan mantri jantan yojana and also it created a social security like accidental insurance life insurance and also it gave the thing called as mobile banking also so it is making the easy accessibility to the people so if you need any banking operation need to be done means you can done it with the mobile phone itself so easy accessibility easy availability easy availability and affordability so all these things are done by this pradhan mantri jantan yojana so you have to say that pradhan mantri jantan yojana unbanked to the institutional finance means you have to quote all the things do you agree with this financial inclusion of the poorer sections of the indian society yes definitely you have to agree it but there are settings you can okay there are so okay i will give the another side of the answer so you can say that yes i am going to agree it financial inclusion is going to happen due to this pradhan mantri jantan yojana you can quote that with this virtuous cycle 
you can cope with this virtual cycle or else you can say that no the financial inclusion of the poorer sections of the indian society won't happen due to this pradhan mantri jantan yojana because the reason is even though they have the bank accounts how many people are using it due to this pradhan mantri jantan yojana people will open the bank accounts but whether they are using it or not that is the question mark so that is the thing you can say that still the banking habit that is not developed or is the financial literacy still that is lacking that is also you can say so you can say no that is also the possible answer even though there is a bank penetration is happening still people are not ready to in save their money they are lack in the financial literacy so bankers or the government is lack lagging with giving the awareness about the financial literacy that is also you can say that is the one way of answering next use argument to justify your opinion you can say that based on that uh, virtual cycle okay you can say it or it's based on the bank penetration is low or it's the deposit penetration is low based on which you can justify another side of your answer so this is the way you can give the answer because it's a opinion type question so when it comes to opinion type question it have it give certain open ended idea to you based on your justification you will get extra marks but it's up to you whether you can say yes or no there is no template answer for this comment type question it means there may be the possibility for the yes there may be the possibility for the no it's up to you to decide what is your answer okay thank you